There's a whole new world underneath our feet. In fact, it never stops working. Soil is made up of billions of microbes that work with fungi, bacteria and other forms of life to convert organic matter to a form that a plant can take up and make best use of the fertiliser we put onto our garden. When I say gardening is all about the soil, nothing could be truer. To have successful plants, you need great soil. When it comes to growing veggies, it's fun making your own compost and having your own worm farm to convert any scraps or dead leaves from the veggie garden into rich organic soil food. But sometimes this isn't possible, or if you're like me, time poor. A shortcut is to do something I often do when replanting, and that's practice in bed composting. This is where all the leaves from spent crops are laid back on the soil and then covered. All the nutrients from the leaves will break down quickly into the soil. Cover the spent crops with sea soil super compost, which has organic matter and quality compost already in it, ready to go. It also feeds the beneficial microbes, so the leaves we've laid on the soil surface will break down quickly. It's sort of a cheat's way of composting, but I say it's the smart way of composting. Anything to save time and make best use of recycling green matter in the garden. Before planting your new crops, submerge seedlings in a sea soil solution for at least 10 minutes. This will reduce transplant shock and ensure these seedlings get the best start by strengthening their root system. This is more important than ever at this time of the year because the weather can take us by surprise and the temperature gauge soars quickly. Some new seedlings are not used to the warm weather. Plant the young seedlings in areas where the in-bed composting process has worked a treat and the leaves you've put on the soil surface are unrecognisable. That way it breaks up any bug's life cycle and ensures they've disappeared. Now if you run out of time and you need to get it done in a hurry, it doesn't matter if you can still see some of the leaves, the composting process will carry on. Now the super compost that we've put on this soil also contains wetting agent so it stops the soil becoming water repellent. At this time of the year, ensure there's a little dish around the seedling. This will retain water until it soaks in. It's a great time to plant follow-up crops of tomatoes in the garden. These varieties are perfect for small areas. The Apollo tomato is an early fruiting, sweet, medium-sized fruit and perfect for containers or small garden beds. And the sweet bite, well, that's my favourite cherry tomato. It keeps fruiting for months and you'll end up with buckets of fruit. Apply Power Feed Pro Series tomato and veggie every couple of weeks over the foliage. All you need is a couple of caps per watering can. Now this is going to do a couple of things. Results in strong, healthy growth of the plants and beautiful, rich soil. And the most important when we're growing veggies is the soil. The healthier and stronger the soil will result in abundant produce and superior flavour. And once you've tasted homegrown veggies, well, there's no turning back. And lastly, keep a bottle of Earthcare Natural Insect Spray close by. While we don't want any bugs to eat our veggies, it happens and this pyrethrum will keep all those soft-bodied insects at bay.